if you want to pick data from database and then if you want to give it to blue prism if you want to work with a data set from a database then how to do that how to pick the data from database we will see that today here most of the time as a blue prism developer you are going to fetch the data from database and then we will give it to collection that's the thing what you are going to perform as a blue prism developer you will have access to read the data that's it you can fetch the data you can pick the data from database and then you can give it to collection so like how we have picked the data from excel same way we are going to pick the data from database and then we will give it to collection this is the only one thing what you are going to perform when you are working with a database for that if you want to work with any database we have a bbos visual business objects to work with sql server database we have data sql server this is your business object vbo if you want to work with data sql server so vbo will be there we have to import to work with a database by default blue prism has been configured with sql server database if you want to work with sql server we have data sql server suppose if the client is having some other databases like oracle or teradata or db2 whatever it may be then also we have another option called oledb but most of the time every client will use this sql server database when you are working with blue prism because the when you are working with blue prism the by default it has been configured with sql server database blue prism will support so that's why so most of the data sets it will be available in database not only when you are talking about the data here whatever the thing we are going to perform in your process studio in your object studio when you are creating a queues when you are creating a collections when you are sorry when you are creating credentials everything it will be saved in your database everything will be saved in your database if you can able to see that also when you are using that it will pick the data from database and then it will give it to you for process or for object whatever it may be same way you will see that how to work with a database now here by default data sql server most of the time you will have only a read option only if you want to perform for example any insert operations any update operations on the table like if you want to perform any write operations must and should you should have database developer credentials developer access then only you can able to perform but most of the time the prism developers will have only read access that's it you will have only read access you can fetch the data and then you will give it to collection that's it so other than that you can't able to perform anything okay now we'll see so how to work with this data sql server we have a vbo for that come to this come to file observe this import browse data sql server this is a vbo if you want to work with a database just click on open data sql server and next import it's imported now once it's imported into the business objects you can able to work with data sql server now okay now first we will go to the database and then so how it looks like and what all the things it will be there in a database so how what all the tables how to fetch the data from your table we will see after that how to work with a so blue prism actions we will see that first let's minimize this one come to studio but remember most of the time you will not have 
access to this in our real time so here i installed ms excel so management studio microsoft sorry so sql server management studio here and then now i can able to connect with this just connect here when you installed blue prism if you remember we have given it for windows authentication we didn't given any username and password it will directly it will connect to your database now come to this query here come to this database our database is blue prism when we created your the blue prism database when you install blue prism we created a database called blue prism now observe this under the databases all these other system databases all these other this is a blue prism here we will call this as a schemas we will call this as a schemas here when you are working with any query here under the blue prism observe this how many tables we have see this all these other tables already it's available in your database if you want to check so what it contains for example select select star from your process this is your bpa process right i will give this table name bpa process okay now execute this now observe what all the things we can able to see it here see this inside this you can able to see whatever the things till now whatever the processes you created whatever the objects you created till now everything is available here see this under this table p means process o means object observe this name name of the process see this name ms excel we both is a business object right object this is process so locking so all these are the process and objects observe this right so everything it will be saved in the database from this observe the when it has been modified when it has been created and who it has been created everything it is available here right so this is in database created by whom everything right same way everything will be saved so for example if you want to check the credentials credentials when we created we created a credential it will be saved in a database we discussed right if you observe credentials also so this credentials table credentials so just go to credentials bpa credentials now observe this what happened see this this is the credential id which we created and then so credential name you can able to see and then so what is the credential id login id and then password you can able to see right so like this everything it will be saved in a database on top of database your blue prism has been installed right now from this we need to fetch the data suppose assume that we have the client has been created some tables on the database and then his requirement is from that my table i need to pick only the users who didn't paid their credit card bill for them i need to send a warning message so maybe that is the requirement okay we need to fetch all the data from the table who didn't pay their credit card bill we can able to pick and then we can able to send it to your blue prism okay and so this is a query how you are going to perform select star from table name star means here all the records if you want any specific records then instead of star you are going to give the column names id comma for example name just a minute this one from this table you will pick something device in this what you have so process id process type name these are the things we required so instead of star give that process id 
process ID comma name process type and name now just execute this it will give you the information see this only these three columns remaining things it's not displaying because instead of star we have given specific columns same way if you want to give any conditional statement we have to give where class here for example where i need to pick only the process type as p only the processes i want to see from this then we can restrict process type equal to p you can execute like this every command remember every command it should be ended with semicolon now see this it's showing only processes from this table now our requirement is we need to pick this data and then we have to give it to your collections once you get the data to collection then after that whatever you want we can able to perform if you want to send a report as an excel file or if you want to send this report to client or if you want to process the data to some other application anything we can able to perform now remember one thing when you are giving this query to your blue prism actions data sql server actions you need to follow some specific format that format is nothing but same same thing select star from emp only but remember you have to give like this select star from schema name dot dbo name dot table name if you give in this format then it will accept properly sometimes if you give if you don't give the schema name it will it doesn't know from which schema i have to pick the data if you observe this under this database how many schemas we have see this master model and then master dp temp blue prism and system databases right these are the schemas so from this you need to specifically mention from which schema you need to pick the data suppose here we connected to blue prism right if i go to master and then if i run this see this it will throw error right because you are not connected to blue prism available database so see this we need to connect to blue prism database select star from database name or schema name see this database name dot dot what is the table name so table name is process right for example so let's take a Yeah, process process like this in this format you need to give in interviews also they will ask can you tell me the format so how you are going to give that query to your blue prism actions when you are giving query remember database name or schema name dot dbo name dot table name in this format only you had to give now both the things is same see this execute if you want to give where condition the same condition use the same condition here use this now if you run this observe this right right i got it right only so it is giving processes from this only specific records means again we can use this thing instead of star use this that's it both are same when you are executing here it will work so if you select it with any database it is available databases so the only the specific database it is running if you don't select any specific database then it will not work that's why we have to give now master database is selected if you give in this format now observe this previously it thrown error right now observe because we connected with master and then we have given here the schema names or database name we are specifying from which database from which schema you need to pick the data that's why it is working in the same format you need to give it to your blue prism actions now come to blue prism actions what all the actions we can able to perform when you are working with a database i will see that now go to here right click create a process process name is database ping next 
okay inside this double click on the database now this is a vbo visual business object use that action double click on that come to data sql server and what are the actions you can able to perform series first you need to use set connections because we need to connect to the database previously when we work with zmain also we have given the connection information server configuration details right then only we can able to connect the same way here we need to give the connection information first we need to give the connection information like configure configuring blue prism to the database the server name database name username and password here observe this it is asking server name database name username and then password give that name set connection so how to know this server name and database name here we didn't given any username and password directly it will connect because this is windows authentication when you install but in real time you should have we have to give must ensure the username and password for that particular database then only it will connect maybe sometimes so for you blue prism developers they will create a username and password otherwise you have to use their developers username and password but most of the time for all your team they will create one username and password you have to use that for that username and password you will not have any write access remember you will have only read access because you are not a database developer only the thing you are job is fetch the data from database and give it to blue prism that's it now here server name and database name how to know that if you come to blue prism double click on blue prism icon here you will get a option called configure see this this is your server name this is your database name which we created when we installed this is your server name this is your database name now close this give the same details here server name and then database name we have given server name and database name just a minute okay now username and password this is not required username and password because this is windows authentication here no need to do this blue prism now just click ok we have given a connection information after that what we need to do most of the time you are going to pick the data from database table and then you will give it to collection it's the thing what you are going to perform now go to actions double click go to vbo and then observe this get collections get collections what it is asking as a input it is asking input as a sql it means nothing but a query it is asking give me the query and then output of this it is creating a collection results it will be stored into this result whatever the data it is picking from there it will store into this this is for just for the notification success and then message so success notification it will show you the query executed successfully or not if you have any message it will give you the message warning messages like query is not executed or whatever it may be it will show you the flag true or false it will give you the information now come to this output here we need to give the query same query i will pay the same thing only the process information we required same thing we will pay and come to here come to this and it should be in double quotes It should be in double quotes. Now I have given this. Now click output. We are loading this result into collection. Now we will see after execution of this process, it has to pick the data from there and then it has to give it to this is to get the data to get to collection. Now give the link. This is thing most of the time you are going to perform. Now run this. And sometimes in interest they will ask what are the other options we have to 
data type just a minute process ID, process type and the name we are picking. So here, so process ID due to this, it is not accepting. Okay, let me pick only process type and then name, we will see that. Because there is some limitations. the process ID it will take only process type and then process information now just again run this okay now after this what it says this is true it means executed successfully and then if you have any failures it will show you here what is the reason of the failure and then result also the current value see this it's picked all the process types and then all the names so this, so this process type and then names everything that has been executed and then it has given it to the collection the same way if you have any table in your database you can pick the data from there you can give it to your collection that's the most of the time you are going to work with and sometimes they will ask the interview just to understand other than this getting the data to the collection what all the other things we can able to perform you can able to get the data to csv file and you will have an option called execute also it means if you have any write access for example if you want to update some data in a table for example you calculated a total salary or tax this tax you need to update into the table then you can able to do that but your username and password should have privileges to write privileges to write then only it is possible otherwise you can't able to perform any ddl or dml commands you know what it mean by ddl and dml so ddl so all the commands ddl which you are going to perform like create alter and drop these are the ddl commands data definition language dml data manipulation language like insert and update and delete all these are the data manipulation language and drl will have access to drl drl is data retrieval language that is select command we are using select right to fetch the data from a table to easily remember what are the ddl commands and what are the dml commands okay i will tell you one thing so just remember this you can able to easily remember how many ddl commands ddl what are the ddl what comes to under ddl what comes to under dml data definition language create alter drop the command which is going to impact on the structure of the table which is going to perform on the structure of the table remember that that is a ddl command create you are creating a new table new table is creating inside the database with a column and columns names and data types empty table then that is your ddl command when you are creating and when you are modifying for example initially we created with five columns in a table we need six columns then we need to modify right again it is modifying the structure of the table ddl command and drop you are removing the table from the database you are removing complete structure from the database that is drop all are ddl commands data definition language which is impacting on your structure of the table definition and coming to dml these commands it is going to reflect on your data inside the table it is not going to perform any operation on your structure of the table it is going to 
reflect on your data inside the table now insert inserting the data into the table the data is inserting into the table it is not impacting on the structure update suppose so once you insert the data some data you need to update some person's salaries from 2000 to 10,000 or 10,000 to 2000 whatever it may be then we have to use update it is also not impacting on the structure right and then delete 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 if you want to remove the data from the table again we are it is impacting on the data inside the table it is not going to impact on the structure so dml data manipulation language what is the meaning of manipulation doing some changes right same way insert update delete these commands it is going to work on inside the data it is not going to impact on your structure of the table so that's why so we'll call it as a dml commands ddl it will impact on the structure of the table remember this and drl data retrieval language is select and we have some options like commit and rollback also commit rollback commit means it's nothing but a save option it's nothing but save option in your database if you want to save something if you update something if you want to save then we have to use a commit if you don't want to save then we have to use rollback undo like a undo and remember one thing once you committed you can't able to roll back before you commit if you use rollback it will work same like assume that when you are working with a excel file or wordpad whatever it may be you are doing some changes without save if you do undo it will go to control z it will go to the previous thing right but if you save it then it will work your control z will work no right your undo will not work so the same concept once you committed then your rollback will not work before committing rollback will work rollback is nothing but a save option in your database okay coming to this now what are the things other things we can able to perform we can write the data into csv file and at the same time we have a option to update or insert whatever it may be but if you want to perform you need developer access then only we can able to do it here now just observe what all the other actions we have here double click go to object sql server and observe this see this csv file and then we have a execute same way we have commit transaction rollback transaction see this rollback commit and rollback okay so csv csv file csv is different csv file is different csv means it will load all the data into so data some data item as a comma separated values but we will not use but here this one it will pick the data and it will create a csv file why it is creating csv file only why not excel here the difference between excel and csv files is csv files there is no limit it will allow more than 1 lakh more than 2 lakhs records also but when it is coming to the excel file excel file have some limitations if you try to load if you try to insert more than 70000 records sometimes your excel is going to get hanged it will not work properly that's why most of the time when you are fetching the data from anywhere so you can able to see this csv file option both are looks like a same but this is comma separated values that is excel file that, that extension will be dot xls this extension will be dot csv you will see that now what it is asking give the sql again any sql if you want so this one without without this one without the where condition we are going to pick it means we need all the process names and then process types into a excel file come to this okay. 
now file give me the file name means nothing but a path where you need to save the text so csv file mostly i will take any path and then after that change it as a csv file path click copy and save path come here give this and then change this as a sample dot csv csv file this is a csv file now okay, good now just click ok now if you run this then it is going to load the data into this csv csv it will create a csv file in that specific path now just reset and then run okay it's done go to desktop somewhere we have given that yeah sample observe this file open so how it looks like see this this is your excel file this is your csv file right click open when you open it looks like same as excel see this all the process it has been picked whatever the things we have created process name and then so process type processor object right and if you observe this right click properties see this it's a csv format when it is coming to excel i click on properties this is a excel sx format so that's a difference with the csv it will there is no limitation it will support huge volume of the data but excel file it will not support huge volume of data that's why so we have this option okay and other than this what you can able to perform you can able to execute and then commit and then roll back whatever the thing you want so here we will see execute method so what it mean by that execute if you want to implement any ddl or dml commands we can go to execute option data sql server observe this execute just execute the query for example you have updated some values you have calculated some taxes and then these taxes you need to update into your file or you need to insert you need to insert the data into some other file you can able to do that okay for example just let me so create a update query here for anything otherwise we'll do one thing in this credential what you have to in this credential you have something that right? ID and then login ID and then password. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to delete this thing. Delete from name dot dot credentials. Now, if you execute this, then it will delete the data from this. But I am not going to execute this by using this database. We are going to run this by using our actions, Blue Prism actions. Now, observe how it is going to perform. Now, just we have given delete from this table name so and then so what it will do is it will delete that particular specific data from that particular table it will delete the data we are so if you observe here we have a data right we have a data in your table id and then credential name and then email id and all those things now come to this and reset and run this observe it executed 
now go to the database and then check the data again this table execute it's executed and then it's not committed right so just use commit here It's not updating somehow. Just a minute, we will try to commit the transaction here by using this action. After the execute, begin SQL server, and then commit transaction. Another thing we have done, it is going to commit. Now we will see that. But we should have permissions to do that. Then only so there is a credentials, right? Just a minute, we'll see that. It's not allowing. Maybe because of this is a so internal table. So we have created credential by using blue prism. And so maybe I don't have permissions to delete this. So that's why. So we can't able to do that. But that query is executed successfully here. If you observe whatever the query we have given, if you run this, choose a name, different name, one, and then message. We will see that. Is it giving any messages or not? We came to know by using this. So like this, if you want to delete or if you want to update or if you want to insert any data from the tables, you can able to perform. So it's giving some message. So this it is not accepting. Just a minute. What was the reason? Okay. Delete statement conflict with the series references constrained credentials role ID. So you can't able to delete the credential statement has been terminated. So we don't have so basically I don't have permissions to delete. So because it has been created. So this references constraints. So primary key, the big credentials role ID. So we have to delete some other table data if you want to delete this somewhere else. We have to delete. So that's what it is saying that. So the credentials is very secure, right? So we are able to. So, so if you have, if you create some other table, so by your own, and then if you try to delete the some things, we can able to delete. Okay, so that's it. For example, if you want to do that also, you can able to. So. For example, let me create table device. Just try it. So if you want to do anything, so if you want to update, so let me this is the information in this table, right? I will try to update something here. So we have a name of environmental locking. We'll try to update update table name. BPA process BPA, BPA process set name equal to env locking new I given this name for this where name equal to env locking this one it means what we are trying to do is here we are trying to update where you have a name environmental locking we are trying to update this name so with this environmental locking new If you execute this, it has to update this particular table. So that just give the table name. Okay. So now we'll see that. 
instead of updating or not instead of this i will use this update statement in execute come to this we are using this update statement here okay so now try to do this update Set now run again. Observe this. Now this is a true. That means it has updated. Now we'll run this query. Previously it was with environmental locking. Now observe this. See this. The name has been changed. So because we have done some changes on the data, this is your right option, right? So this is your DML. We are manipulating data. DML or DDLs. We need developer access. We need to have a development access. Then only we can able to do that. But most of the time, remember, as a Blue Prism developer, you will not have any developer access. What we are going to do is we are going to fetch the data. And then, so 99.99% of the time, we will fetch and then we will give it to collection. That's it. If interviews, if they ask what are the other options we have, you can tell these things. You can commit, you can do execute, but most of you should have developer access, developer credentials. Then only we can able to do that. Just remember these things. Okay. So now, so we'll stop it here.